the Ladbrokes hurdle is next. This is a Grade 3 handicap over two miles at the top. We've got Dominion of Darkness for Joshua Sutherland. Kinvara Windmill for Martin Leader. American Pickers, Paul Rhodes and Fair Dinkum, Stu Gray. So just four in a big Grade 3 handicap hurdle. That is quite a surprise. And away they go. And they'll pick up a little bit of cash in this one. And Dominion of Darkness is the first one to show. And Joshua Sutherland might well be looking at this one and thinking it's a penalty kick. And it's Dominion of Darkness in front, being joined by Fair Dinkum. And then Kinvara Windmill and American Pickers. So Fair Dinkum it is, and he's gone on there. The other three are in a line as they get to the first of the eight. And they're all safely over it, with Fair Dinkum clear in front by two now. To American Pickers second, and then Dominion of Darkness third. Kinvara Windmill is fourth. You can see we're still at Leopardstown in Dublin. And Fair Dinkum is in the lead. Hold along nicely in front for Stu Gray. Yeah. American Pig is in second. And then Dominion of Darkness on the inside. And finally Kinvara Windmill at the back. And finally get to the second and they all jump it nicely. Fair Dinkum is clear. Rain continues to come down. Not sure where most of these will be heading next week. Probably the county hurdle. Right, two of them may take their chance in the chases. Oh, I can't imagine that any of them will be in the champion hurdle. I think you never know. Oh, there are other races next week away from Cheltenham as well, which could tempt some of these away. There's a few good races. Somewhere else, there's a, sea, there's a sea pigeon race somewhere as they get over number four. And they're all safely over that one with Fair Dinkum, the clear leader. From American Pickers in second, and then Dominion of Darkness, and then Kinvara Windmill. Also be the Midlands Grand National next week, of course, as well as Cheltenham. But it's Fair Dinkum in the lead. And Dominion of Darkness in second, and American Pickers third. Kinvara Windmill fourth. As we go past the cheap seats and make our way down towards the next flight. The Stu Gray charge still the leader. But being joined now by American Pickers in the yellow jacket. Which I think is Paul Rhodes. Between the two of them, Dominion of Darkness, who's got to be the red hot favourite for Joshua Sutherland. And then a gap of three lengths to Kinvara Windmill. Who seems to fluctuate between hurdles and chases at the lower end of the scale. And he's probably nailed on for fourth in this one. But it's Fair Dinkum who's in the lead. From Dominion of Darkness second, American Pickers third, and Kinvara Windmill back in fourth as they get over the seventh. There's just one more flight to take now, and Fair Dinkum is more than holding its own in the lead. From Dominion of Darkness in second, then American Pickers, Kinvara Windmill trying to run on up the centre of the track as they race down towards the final flight. There's still two furlongs to go, and Dominion of Darkness finally hits the front from Fair Dinkum in second. Now Kinvara Windmill moves into third. American Pickers is trying to run on still, but Dominion of Darkness has got the lead racing down towards the final flight. Dominion of Darkness over in the lead. Better jump now by Kinvara Windmill. And Dominion of Darkness is being challenged now by Kinvara Windmill. Could be seeing an upset on the cards. It's Dominion of Darkness in the lead, but Kinvara Windmill starting to poke his head in front. And Kinvara Windmill is going to take it, I think, as they race up towards line. Major surprises. Kinvara Windmill wins it. Dominion of Darkness second. American Pickers third. And Fair Dinkum back in fourth. And. Kinvara Windmill is a strange horse. Actually went off the 11 to 10 on favourite. I'm not quite sure why. Probably because it was getting so much weight. It did win a decent race last season. Wins over fences as well. But doesn't seem to put in the same performance every week. But that was certainly a decent performance with a uh, win there. So Kinvara Windmill takes it for Martin Lidham. Dominion of Darkness for Joshua Sutherland. The top weight was second. American Pickers Paul Rhodes was third. And Fair Dinkum, the old man of the party for Stu Gray, was fourth.